So here is the modification that I made to my CDV 700 Geiger counter radiological survey meter. Now the problem with these is that they don't have an external speaker. So to hear the clicks you need to find that big old clunky thing that goes on the side and connects to this um, connector. I forget the name of it. It's not a PL259. It's something else. It's like a, um, it's a type of connector that those old harp mics take. It's like a screw-on thing. I have a couple around here somewhere, but anyway. So I picked up this little external speaker for a couple dollars from China. And it's made to go into your phone or MP3 player or whatever, and it actually doesn't do too bad of a job at all. And my initial idea was to get an adapter and just pop it on there. But that seemed complicated, and it was hard to find uh, the right adapter, and I would have had to got one that would go to um, a phono jack, like for an old-style um, headphones or something like that, and then reduce that to a 3.5 millimeter jack. So instead, what I did is I got this thing for, I don't know, like $3, and then I got a bunch of these little connectors. I have one here. They're uh, 2.5 millimeter headphone jack connectors for, I don't know, like 99 cents for the bunch. And then I drilled a hole into the side of the casing. I was gonna go on top here, but the metal was too thick for this thing to bite into and to be able to grab onto there properly. So I went in from the side and I was careful about choosing my location because as you see, when I open it up here in a minute, you need to have room to get that thing in and out. And I also wanted this thing to come flush with the corner here. I didn't want it sticking out from the end or risk getting bumped or something like that. So it goes very nicely over there. Now I'll turn it on and I'll switch the meter on to times one. I'm going to turn it on and you hear a bit of a buzzing there and you'll start to hear the clicks. Now this is just the background radiation but when I uh, take the probe off <laughs> probe, and I put it at the check source on the side You'll hear the clicks. Now it's a reasonable volume. It's not uh, super loud and it's not super quiet. It's, it's a good volume. You can hear it. And I mean, I had it in the other room and I could hear it just fine. So that's that. back on it. I'll open it up and I'll show you how I connected it on the inside. So take it out and you'll see I kind of have to wiggle it out to the side and then out and you'll see that little connection there. Now I was going to try and find some kind of little micro um, connector plug with two terminals that I can put so I could separate this. I didn't have one on hand so I just went and I soldered it in there but I don't have one so it's fine sits for now. Now, if you're going to plan to do this, pay careful attention to the uh, position of the, um, where you're going to connect your terminal, or your, or your connections to the terminal, because um, this one grounds to the casing, and you can see the black one is what I went into the, um, what would be the center portion of this connector, which would be, I guess, I don't know, the power or the main or whatever. And then the grounding portion went to the other side on that part that has the second terminal with it. Um, now, if you do it backwards and you put that one on here, um, the second that this casing, see, you can see where the paint kind of flakes off and it makes contact, it'll short out and it just won't work. So pay attention to that. Now, do be careful when you're messing with these things because. From what I've read, uh, there's components in here that are charged up to like 50 volts, so um, pay attention to that. Now, you can see under here in the board, there's this purple wire. I'm trying to get a light here. This purple wire that goes to the um, jack and it goes into the center, and that's just soldered on the board there next to like a little, what is that, a diode or a resistor or something. So what I did is I took my little wire and I just soldered it right on top up 
there. And then, this one was a bit of a pain in the ass. You gotta have a really hot soldering iron to heat up that big chunk of metal and uh, be able to drop a wire on it. Focus it in there. You can see it's kind of a messy solder, but it's holding on there tight, so that's fine. And I just went on to the, uh, to the jack there, but you could probably do anything that's grounded to the casing. I just want it to go on the jack there, just keep it a little bit neater. And then I put a little um, zip tie around the wire and I went around that post just to secure it so nothing tugs off. And that is basically it. So all I really did was I hacked into that connection over there. Now to do this, I had to unscrew. There's like, uh, there's four screws. There's one here, one there, and two underneath. And then this piece comes off. It's still connected by a wire, so do be careful. <clears throat> and then that gave me a cleaner access to under here. Now once you do that, this whole other piece will slide off. And it is held in position by the knob. This is this whole board. So if you plan to get that off, you're gonna have to unscrew. There's two little uh, screws here on the knob. There's one over there, and then there's one around the other side. And then you're gonna take it off. Now, if you do plan to do that, pay attention to what setting the knob is, because once you put it on, that's that's where it's gonna be. So be careful. And even then, I don't think the board will come clean out. You have to tug at it and all kinds of shit. So I just left it in. Uh, but that is something to point out. So. There you go. A cheap way for under, I don't know, five or seven dollars to get a good quality speaker on your uh, Geiger counter, CDV 700. But, uh, it's very annoying and very expensive to try and find the original speaker because there weren't too many of them made and um, should you find one pop up online you're probably going to have to pay a pretty penny for it, probably more than these meters are worth. So there you have it. If you have any questions, feel free to let me know. If you have any more information about these, don't hesitate to drop a comment.